Hey yeah, folks, Quilly Teen here and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Planet, Planet Crafter. And today, I have a mission. I noticed I have a message from Riley over here. It says, I've conducted a deep scan of the planet and something is off. I'm getting strange geological signatures and incoherent topographical data near your location. Try to get to this place, which I'm just going to screenshot and leave on my second monitor here. Negative 248 by 93. It's also 42 is high-ish up. Might be on top of the hill or might have to climb some sort of ridge or something like that. But we're going to do that. Use bottom left. Yeah. So we know. So bottom left of our interface does indeed have a coordinate system. I've got some water and oxygen on me. Maybe I should bring one food with me just in case. What if this turns out to be a big thing? So negative, negative direction is that way. Okay. So we're going to have to go around this big ridge to get down south. Hold on. On the map, are there coordinates? No. But... I'm assuming we're just generally going southish over here. So yeah, we'll do our standard walkabout to down there. There's some stuff to do there. While we're here, maybe we can pick up some obsidian of some kind. Actually, I should probably bring enough to be able to build a box on site wherever I am. Three, one, two, and that. I have gone and um, run back and forth. Got a little bit of our mining set up. I also, I think I did this between screens. I set up a uh, tier two extractor for osmium because we were out of that and we need osmium for the extractors. Crafted some more super alloys just to say. I've also gone and built this Dunna manipulator that we unlocked. Don't know what to do with it yet. I'm thinking we throw some things in there. Maybe I should, while we're here, let's say I grab more beans. Actually, I should have probably just harvested some beans. I want to keep some around. Let me put those back in. One, two, three, and then one. Because it looks like it's got three slots. So I'm thinking I'm going to do that and hit research. No match found. Oh. Huh. Well, I'm sure it'll come up. We'll probably get some, some message at some point to explain. We could probably crack it earlier. Mostly I'm thinking it might be something related to, like, insects or something of that nature. I don't know. Come around here and see what that is. Yeah, so that's still a tier one miner, which is fine. I will be looking to replace that because I think aluminum is something that is harder to come by. I mean, we, we are generally accumulating a little bit of it now, so it might not be quite as dire as it was. It was sort of our main choke point for a bit. But at this point, because we're getting a semi-steady supply, I don't think we actually needed that much aluminum. I think it's just because we couldn't readily get it that it felt like a choke point. But we'll see. And we do have the uranium mine set up. And yeah, the osmium. So I got sulfur, osmium, iridium being all mined. Oh, and I found a few more of those zeolite crystals. They do just seem, when, when there's one of those little arched vines, and I'm betting it's not so much that they, the crystals grow on the vine, so much as... It might be the vines or the roots, I should say, that are popping out of the ground and bringing, see, like right here, bringing a zeolite with it. I'm trying to keep my inventory lean here, but I feel like I've got to collect a zeolite when I see it because it's not the sort of thing I can just go and grab on demand. So we need to, yeah, we're going to have to go this one. I'm looking for a positive number on the other. I didn't miss anything on the ground. I was just looking at the coordinates for a little while. There we are. So we still have to go slightly more south than we are. Uh, yeah. I mean, there's some good stuff over here. Oh, these pink crystals. I think those are the pulsar quartz. Those are another thing that I can't seem to readily get so far. Another pulsar quartz over here. Well, I gotta say the sulfur cave or uh, the iridium cave has a really cool plant in it. Uh, 93. Okay, so actually I overshot. There we go. Somewhere over this way. Actually, I'm too high up. I wanted 42, so it must be. Okay. Eh? Okay, we need some oxygen. Hold on a sec. Uh, we're gonna build this thing. Actually, part of me is like, I should have built enough to put a little signal here, but 
Maybe that's not necessary. I'll be able to see the box on the map to confirm myself a few things, and maybe I can see the map a little bit more, uh, the, this box a little from a distance. Also, I guess we kind of know the coordinates for this place. It's magnesium, oh, and aluminum. It's growing pink. Have these trees been here from the start? Can I take a DNA sample of these things? I'm not getting any kind of tooltip. Is this native plant life? Oh my god, it just keeps going. What? Oh, Mushroom River. Discover the Mushroom River. There's another cave over there. It was just visible a second ago. There it is, see? Just move in such a way that the uh, fog goes away. Okay, I'm gonna stick to the right-hand side first. I mean, I clearly want to go in the middle. This makes me think, what is it, Skyrim, that one, like, cave system you always run into? Black Reach or something? It's like, oh, you find a cave, and you go into it, and you're like, oh, I'm back at this place again. I haven't played Skyrim in forever, and I have not played as much as some people have. Never finished the game, although that part is maybe not unusual. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Little wooden crates and stuff? What happens if I go in this water? Fine. Ooh, hello, box. All right, well, let's clear it. That was the O2. It's okay. I do have O2 canisters on me. I'd rather not use them. Is that a water wheel? I really expect there to be something right here next to that stuff. This place is huge. I'm just sticking to the right hand side for now. Um, maybe I should have made my box inside of here. I might still be able to if I can find all the raw resources. I'm good on iron, actually. I'm not seeing much variety of stuff here. I'm not even sure if I'm if I've reached the back of the cave and have looped around yet. Okay, we just need uh we just need some Oh, I have iron. Yeah, I could build a hut back here. Wherever this is. And then I could tear it down after put it somewhere I'm happier with. But let's just use this to fill up our oxygen without using an oxygen tank. Good. And yeah, let's go ahead and construct. A little cheesy, but we'll do it. Mushrooms on the ceiling. Trying to do a little middle cut here. Whoa, Warden's Altar. Are these more coordinates? Am I going to be following breadcrumbs from one of these altars to another? Minus 40 will be underground, although I am underground right now. Warden's key. This strange device seems to be used to open a mechanism. Is, does this have an end game? I didn't realize there was a, like, you know, terraforming is supposedly our, our, our goal here, but... I suspect we're going to be being left here. There might, I mean, there's, I bet you there's more shit down here. Like, at the very least, some boxes? Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Is I'm going to stand in front of this and screenshot it for two reasons. One, I'm going to lock in these coordinates in my Steam library. And two, if I close my screenshot window from what I did earlier, just using um, Snip snip tool, then I will still have the coordinates of the next site. Well, I suppose I could always load my own video here. But then I'd have to find the right moment in the video for when the coordinates were on screen. Alright, let's that before I forget any more. So, I mean, is this really all there is of value in here for us? Don't get me wrong, that seems mighty and that, this was the other cave I was seeing. Holy shit, and there's more here. Okay. I thought this was a box. 
like a little fishing village down here? What did this look like? Is getting low again. I've got oxygen canisters and I can put down a box if I've got some space. Oh, there's more obsidian here. I wonder if this obsidian cave is mineable. You know what? I'm going to screenshot so I've got, again, same thing. The coordinates are there. Um, I don't need a lot of obsidian right now, but I'm sort of thinking. Like, there was one thing I saw that ne in my recipe list that needed an obsidian. But I may as well fill up my inventory one time with it. It's possible that we can set up a mining drill here later. Although it feels like I don't need to prioritize this since I don't have any need. All right, let's go and do the oxygen capsule. That's iridium. I was going to say, I might want to make sure to leave an inventory space open so I don't have to annoyingly drop something on the ground later. I don't know what it happens if I step in the magma, but I'm going to assume it's not great. Where the hell am I? I really need the map. But I think the map thing is what I needed um, obsidian for. Well, shit, let's... If I do this, then what's going to happen? And I leave it here. And when I check the map at home, I'll be able to see where this little box is. That's probably more obsidian. Yeah, okay. Well, there's not much point in exploring right now. Um, just because I don't have the space to put things in anyway, and I want to bring home what I've got anyway. But let's do one little high ground thing. First of all, they might have hidden something up here. Because this feels much more climbable than some others. I was saying maybe we'll see something interesting. I'm betting I didn't have to go through that cave. I could have just walked along the surface here. For all I know, I have been here before from a different angle. I, d I doubt we've been right there. The other thing I'm worried about is that there's going to be stuff hidden underwater in some of these places that I won't know because I haven't been here before the water showed up really. We have we explored this, whatever this is. No. Crap. Uh, I need one more titanium. Iron. I think I have exactly what I need here. Or a living compartment. And a door. Good. And then what I probably want is more iron so I can stow things. I mean, I could just go home as is. Poke our head in for a minute because I do have a little bit of inventory space. There. Perfect. Perfect. I don't know if I need another jet, another rocket engine right with a second, but we'll do that. Okay, right, so heading north. And I guess north sort of east should put us back along there. Oh, I should. Again, screenshot. I don't know if I could see that debris on the big map. It might be obvious now that I sort of know what to look for it. I might be able to see, but since it's so submerged and sort of just visible from the side. What is that blue? Oh, that's some sky. I thought it was a bin. Um, but yeah, it's possible that the, the satellite view doesn't really show it. Maybe just a sliver. Ooh, there's a waterfall here too. Okay, well, I'm actually not going to do such a good path back here. Could go back through the mushroom cave, but I suspect I don't have to. Just more obsidian, right? Yeah. Okay. 
That was a little freaky. Let's just all be the wrong way. Now oh, there we go. Have some iridium on the surface. I wonder what happens if you put a miner there. What kind of stuff you get. Now, where are those other coordinates? Minus 464. So east-west is about... No. It's south of us and east of us. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, I'm going away from the other cave, but I guess that's fine. I guess it sort of makes sense that all these... What was it? A warden altar? Kind of makes sense that they're not near the area where we started. Hmm. Coordinates and some sort of device. The device is going to be used to build some sort of crazy machine, or it's a key to some sort of crazy door, or something like that. I still have to figure out the explosive thing in the northeast there. I don't know if I can just bring explosive powder, or if it's something specific. I think it just said explosives. It didn't say bringing explosive powder. So I'm assuming there's some sort of thing we unlock later called an explosive. Where the hell am I? I don't want to go that way, but... Oh, wait, no, that's... That's where the crack would be. Because that's my uranium mine there. Actually, I might do a little shuffling of things. Assuming I have a few... Yeah, I've got a little bit of space to work with. Um, Bring you... Leave the iron. Bring you... I'm even going to leave the aluminum behind. Yeah, I clearly have to go and collect more of that uranium. And that's a big bottleneck for us because power is a bottleneck for us right now. I need the uranium. I wonder if there's another place to get it. But I need the uranium so I can build a bunch of uranium rods and build some more tier 2 power generators. I've got, I think I put in one tier 1 because I really need a little more power and certainly a lot more solar power as well. And maybe I could just make just huge fields of solar power. That's possible. But it doesn't feel very convenient. All right, we'll be, we'll be able to get home without reloading anything now. Water, food is not going to go down that fast. Certainly not the food. Um, and the oxygen's enough. Okay. I will check. I think and it was here, right? Microchip map. There's the. Oh, we have everything. So if I do this, now can I hit M? Oh, yes. Okay. That's going to change so much of our exploration. That There it is. That's that debris I did find. So it was visible. There's my little hut. Okay. That is going to change so much. I wonder if at some point we'll get a, a chance to put pins in. Or maybe that's what the map information satellite is for. Hey, can I launch that one? I don't remember what it needed. Hang on. Let me... um. This is obsidian. Um, let me drop that in there. That goes in there. That goes in there. Uranium. Done. Got engines and stuff, but hang on a sec. What was needed for the map information one? Because I bet you can do that now. I just had it in my head. It's like this thing I can't do. Yeah, it was a super alloy, and I guess osmium. And I guess I need a spare microchip. But I can do that. Okay, let's, before I die, what's my timer at here? Okay, we got time. Let's drink some water. Eat some beans. Grab a bunch of that. Make, oh, an aluminum. Oh, yeah, we are low on aluminum. I mean, it, it's being mined. Like, I don't have to panic that I'm going to run out. That is no longer an issue. I didn't actually take a screenshot of that stupid thing. Um... I'm a planet crafter wiki map information satellite rocket. What's it called? Damn it, that didn't come up. Arg. And you need osmium. I know that. Dang it. Well, why didn't I take a screenshot? Oh, there we go. I think I have to make another uh, microchip. Oh, I can't click it, probably because I have to... Uh, 
unequip the compass. There it is. But then I can just craft another one for myself. So it is handy to have it at the top. Launch that. There it goes. Ooh, that one's slow to take off, it felt like. Maybe they all take off at the same speed. I don't know. And then if I want to build a new compass microchip, silicon, magnesium, two aluminum, which I don't have the aluminum. So I can't build another one of those, but I'm curious. Oh, I guess I can open my own map now. <gasps> hey, what is this? Is this zeolite? I wonder if these are showing mineable spots. Aluminum. I built that. I built that. Okay. This is showing me where I can mine. Wait, what is this? What is this? This can't possibly be something I mine. But it looks like there is a spot I can mine super alloy. I mean, I guess it's entirely possible that it's a cave that has super alloy on the ground, but isn't mineable. But I haven't actually been there. And again, I keep saying, oh, you know, we, we don't actually have a limit on super alloy. It's just a little annoying to make. But if I can just mine the shit directly, that'd be amazing. Let me put that in there. Cloth in here as well. It could be moved outside. Um, we'll put the explosive powder in here. Okay, that's really quite intriguing. Uh, Lumber Seed. Actually, hold on to the rest. That's sort of a travel thing. But I, I, yeah, I do have to get my, um, my compass again. I think it is going to be fairly desirable for us to go and get the Tier 2 Aluminum. However, I will say this. If we can actually regularly mine Super Alloy, then I really won't need aluminum the same way. Right now, aluminum is once again, I talked about it not being a bottleneck. Aluminum was once again a bottleneck for making super alloy because we don't get as much aluminum as we do the other material that is necessary for it, um, especially since we can just pick it off the surface. There was one aluminum in there, right? Yeah, so that means actually I can go and pick up the other one that is in this bin. And... Go, compass, and then install that in there. Good. Interesting the oxygen tank isn't with the rest of the equipment. It comes after the chips. There you go. So we have our compass again. I have a map button again. We can see our markers on the map too, which is cool. I think I did unlock the tier three GPS satellite, which would let me zoom out more and see more at a time, which, don't get me wrong, is obviously super useful, but maybe isn't the most critical thing. This is very interesting. Titanium. Oh, there's another. There's another. That is um, uranium, right? Yeah. So there's another uranium mineable spot, presumably over there. Although I do need the tier two extractor for that. I suspect we need the tier two extractor here. However, even if I don't have the means to build it yet, I should still visit these sites to harvest the goodies. Right? Especially the uranium. Because right now I could slap down another one of these. I think assuming I've got the osmium. Oh, I don't have the osmium, but I do have an osmium mine going on. So I should be able to t slap down another one of these. The big problem is it's 164 energy. So what I really need is more of these nuclear reactors, mostly. Um, one of these powers about two of these. So if we can just pick up a bunch more uranium that's on the ground, well, it's still going to be hard to make three rods because I need 27 uranium for that. But pick up some on the ground, go revisit my mining site, do that. I think this will happen in between episodes because I suspect this isn't going to prove to be terribly interesting. Um, I will make sure to keep those warden coordinates in mind for when I do do the next recording. But otherwise, I'll, we'll have to wait until then. Folks, thanks a lot for watching. Oh, let's just take a look. How are we doing towards trees? 76% to our first tree. Cool. I'll see you next time.